What's wrong these days? Okay. Um, before I start in, um, is it just this one camera or are yep. there other? So it's just the one. So there's a time of change going on here in Longmont. It's an important change. It's a necessary change. But I really understand that a lot of people are worried about change and are disturbed by it. The change that I'm talking about, there are many, but the change that I'm talking about is Longmont is converting from kind of a suburban model of life to a more urban, dense, public transit-oriented mode of existence, and it is necessary. There's a letter that I get over and over again, not a form letter that, you know, somebody's passing around on social media and saying, send this to your council person, but just a letter that people keep writing, different people, different words, always in their own words, but the same points keep coming up. It says, why does council permit all of these dense apartments, condominiums, townhouses? It benefits nobody but the developers. It's going to change the character of my neighborhood. There's not going to be room for all the cars. I think you council members are corrupt to be doing this. Well, it hurts my feelings to be called corrupt because I'll tell you, if I were, I'd probably have a lot more money. But the first thing I want everybody to understand is that we're doing this for the benefit, maybe not just of you, we're doing it for the benefit of the people who live and work in Longmont and for the local economy and for people's well-being. For the developers, absolutely not. You know, the developers would make more money building great, huge, single-family homes with triple garages. We let that happen too long, and now we're trying to reverse that process while we still have land available to make the adjustments. So these new high-density developments are designed to reduce vehicle ownership and vehicle miles traveled. In cities that have already done this, we know that a few characteristics of a city which are dense development along uh, corridors where a bus can run, um, the ability for people who have ordinary jobs, uh, frontline workers like retail, grocery clerks, but also nurses and teachers and uh, public service workers, um, if, when they can afford to live in their own city, they're happier. It's like giving them a raise. They spend less on their cars. They spend more time with their families. And uh, you become happier because you get better service from people who are happy in their work and are not stressed by what they're doing. So we're doing it for them, and we're doing it for you. Population density enables public transit, and public transit enables people to get out of their cars. Longmont already has a pretty good multimodal network, that is, ways for people to ride their bicycles to work, ride their bicycles for recreation, walk, um, all of those things. And as we move closer together, we're all going to do more of that. We're going to be happier, we're going to spend more time in nature, and we're going to be healthier because we have better exercise. So all of this stuff is for you. It's not for the developers. And when you see your city government working with developers, it's to make sure that we're not putting them out of business. I want to thank the ones that are still working with us and building what the city wants instead of what makes them the most money. And the other thing I really hope is that you will make an effort to get with the program, get out of your car, and enjoy our beautiful city. That's just what I think. Mm -hmm.